Welcome back to Night Flight 60's Retrospective. 1967 marked the summer of love in San Francisco and the peak of psychedelic excitement. Uh, you're a what? I'm a psychedelic poster expert. You mean you paint them? Oh, no, no, I read them. You read them? Well, like I translate them. Oh. I mean, that's my bag. Oh, I see. I don't suppose everybody can do that. Oh, no. <laughs> Could you translate this poster for us? Sure. Um, uh, Jefferson Airplane, Fillmore Auditorium, September 26th. Ah, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Well, you have good light to do that. No, no, you need a bad light. Bad light? Oh, yeah, bad light, man. Oh, I see. Could you translate this poster for us, please? Yeah. Well, that's groovy lettering. I never saw that one before. Uh, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. It's, a, it's heavy. I mean, it's uh, very profound. Like uh, the guy who said that, you know, about loving the world and all. I mean, he, he knows where it's at. Would you believe that the man who said that said it nearly 2,000 years ago? Wow. He was really ahead of his time. But as the 60s wore on, so did America's tolerance for a war that wasn't ours to fight. The U.S. Marines dig in at Tonkin near the demilitarized zone during a pause on the almost constant pounding by North Vietnam artillery and mortar fire. The small outpost has witnessed some of the heaviest, most concentrated fighting of the war. The month-long attack is seen as a determined communist effort to wipe out the Marine installation which occupies an important position just south of the buffer zone. The struggle inflicts heavy casualties on both sides, with more than 65 Marines killed, over 1,000 wounded. Military leaders said more shells were fired here than in any other single battle of any war in history. Thousands of demonstrators opposed to the Vietnam War assembled in the nation's capital for a mass protest. For the most part orderly, Minor scuffles did occur between the demonstrators and hecklers. A three-hour parade takes the demonstrators across the Potomac on their way to the Pentagon. The crowd estimated at about 50,000 persons was a loose confederation of some 150 groups and included adults, students, even children. It is at the Pentagon where the first test of strength comes. Military police contain the crowd, but clashes soon break out. Federal marshals arrest several who attempt to break through the protective line. Reinforcing the marshals, a second wave of MPs with fixed bayonets in scabbards move into position. Former world heavyweight champion Cassius Clay refused to take the oath of induction into the army. The black Muslim fighter, who is also known as Muhammad Ali, was immediately stripped of his title by the World Boxing Association. Clay insisted that he is an ordained minister and should be exempt. Clay also charges race discrimination by the Houston Draft Board. He faces federal prosecution and a possible five-year prison sentence plus $10,000 fine. Later, Martin Luther King praised Clay's courage. 